What is going on guys? Welcome to Swish Life Garage and today I still am working on my Prelude. One of the major things I want to fix today is the bumper sag on the front end. I know many fit gens have this problem so I know a lot of people are going to take away a lot of good information and they'll be able to do the same thing. Now this problem is very easy to take care of. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it today. So if I'll take any more time, let's get right to it. Now that we got the lights looking real nice, nice and clean, LEDs on the front end, turn signals, also did the resistors for those turn signals so we don't have no more fl hyper flash issues and it's looking great at night but also I want to make this car look good in the daytime so I already cleaned up the headlights which was a major thing to do on the front end because a lot of people look at the headlights but also to the average person they might not see it but the bumper is actually sagging a little bit on the side you could probably notice it a little bit more see how the body line is a little bit tighter and then it starts to sag on the front end and there's a bigger gap right there so gonna fix that issue today and also I want to freshen up the grill a little bit showing a bit of age so we're just going to freshen it up I'm going to show you guys exactly how I'm going to get that done but first thing I need to do is take off this front bumper so bumper is off next thing you're going to do is to get a 12 millimeter loosen up that bolt you don't have to take it completely out and then completely take out these this lower 12 millimeter and this other one here as well the same thing for this side just loosen them up and the one in there alright so after it's all loosened up it should just be hanging and it should just move real easily so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get eight washers but you're gonna get two washers on on each lower bolt so just stack them up and then it's just gonna offset the uh, the bar so there's gonna be a space in between and so it pushes the bumper up so you get rid of the bumper sag so after that it should look exactly like that two washers back there just offsetting it a tiny bit just tighten it all up on the passenger side as well washers in there also what could fix your bumper issue is just loosening up these 10 millimeter bolts raising up the bar and that could fix your uh, you know your sagging issues most of the time it sags because the uh, the clip on the bumper which I will show you in a minute uh, but it breaks and it's not holding in there so it sags right there as you guys can see the clip is broken on this one and as well on the other side it's broken so that's why we're having the sagging issues but this should fix it right up this support bar here is maxed out on each side maxed out and all I got to do is throw the bumper right back on and we'll see how it fits bumper is installed you can see the gap got rid of it I took out the lower filters because I'm gonna paint these as well along with the grill I clean them up really good at first and then I'm gonna wet sand them with 500 grit try to get it everywhere roughing up the plastic also the the prelude emblem is able to come off with the two screws in the back take that off and just look like that so if you wanted to actually you know have it on your car without the emblem you could actually do that but as of right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a bucket some dish soap and some 500 grit and start going to work on these the lower filler panels have been sanded up with 500 grit pretty well what I'm going to be painting it with is the SEM or SEM trim black my first time trying this stuff out heard a lot of good things about it 
So let's give it a shot. It came out really nice. And the grill especially, it came out amazing. Another thing that I have for the grill is, see this emblem? It looks pretty beat. You guys can see it there, it looks pretty beat. You know, the original one, obviously you expect that. But now the grill is looking real nice and I don't wanna throw this on it. So, what I picked up is the new emblem. There's a part number for you guys that need it. So here's the new emblem. Nice, looks very nice. Really clean, really excited about this. You know, excited for little things. Let's put it side by side with the old one there. Yeah, this one just looks a whole lot better. But it just attaches with two, two screws in the back. And it's gonna make the grill look a whole lot better. Just a little bit more of a refreshed look in the front end. All right, so there it is. Brand new emblem. Freshly painted grill. Take a look at the grill in the sun. Looks very nice. Time to install it onto the car. All right, so the lower fillers, the grill, the emblem, and now the bumper sag all taken care of. The bolts in the grill as well. I bought the clips from Honda. Snap it right into the radiator support before it's just kind of just dangling there. Right, as you guys can see, with the hood down and everything installed, painted grill, painted fillers, fixed bumper sag, new emblem, Clean headlights. Looks very nice. Definitely makes the car look a whole lot more like exclusive. I don't know how to explain it. It just makes it look like something you haven't seen before. It makes you guess what kind of car it is. Everything coming together real nicely. Hopefully I provided you guys with a lot of good information so you guys could do the same thing onto your car. This thing is looking a lot nicer and I'm really happy with the results that I'm getting. Especially for the amount of money that I'm putting into it, you know. Just buying these washers is only a few cents. As well as the paint, you know, a little bit of money for sandpaper. And that's all it really takes. A lot of this stuff just really takes time and not so much money. But let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment right below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Also, give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you got any good, valuable information. Or maybe you think you didn't get any information. I really appreciate you guys that keep watching every video. Now we're up to 3,014 subscribers. I really appreciate that, you know. Now I remember the times when I just hit 100 subscribers and I thought that was a lot. But now we're hitting 3,000. My next goal is 5,000. I know for sure we're gonna make it happen. But of course it just takes time and consistency.
Now I got about two other little things I want to do onto this car before I take my trip. But of course I'm going to show you guys that on the next video. So make sure your notification bell is on so you will be notified once that is posted. But alright guys, that's going to be the end of this video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.